President Trump said recently that no one knows whether climate change is real, but he's keeping an open mind. Well, Mark Phillips has something to consider from the bottom of the world. He's in Antarctica for our Climate Diaries. High summer in Antarctica. An explosion of life when the deep freezer warms up to become just a refrigerator. And an explosion of scientific research when the Antarctic reveals the secrets that have been locked in its ice. Is something going on? <laughs> yeah, something's obviously going on. It's very clear. Ken Taylor runs one of the continent's most ambitious ice research projects. And what's going on is the huge crack that's opened up in one of the floating ice shelves that cling to the coast here. There's a large berg about to break off of the Larsen Sea ice shelf. This uh, berg. You say have, large berg, it's the size of the Delaware. The size of Delaware, yes, it's very large. And the fracture that is breaking off is expanding quite a bit, like it jumps about a mile every week or so. It's not the ice from the ice shelf that is worrying. More Antarctic ice flowing into the sea would increase the threat to low-lying coastal areas around the world, including in the United States. And there are several spots around Antarctica that are believed to be in this irreversible situation where the ice on the ground is go going to flow into the sea and there's nothing we can do to stop it at this point. Eric Guth is part of a scientific study that is proving that Antarctic ice is on the move. So this here, is the object of your affection together. Absolutely. He's part of the extreme ice survey that uses time-lapse photography to document what's happening. Images snapped every hour, then strung together, show how quickly the glaciers are flowing. These pictures aren't just useful for science, they have another purpose. Much of the general public are visual learners, as am I, and I think being able to see that with your own eyes is a very compelling way of communicating information. Arguments over the causes of climate change may be raging again at home. Here, suggestions of a hoax come up against some cold, hard facts. That one. Ken Taylor, the ice scientist, normally drills miles deep into the ice cap for answers. Sometimes, though, they're floating all around you. Bubbles trapped in the ice contain the air that was around tens of thousands of years ago when the ice froze. And that air contained a fraction of the warming greenhouse gases the human race is now pumping into the atmosphere. You break ago. this open and smell that air, you're smelling ancient air. It's really good air. It's like air before humans messed up the atmosphere. Yeah. Smells like ice. <laughs> and there's another kind of chill down here, Scott, a chill in the scientific community, a fear that the funding it needs will be harder to come by in the future, and that there's a less sympathetic ear in government for the kinds of science they do. Mark Phillips for our Climate Diaries down under. Thanks.